Hi, my name is Josie. Thank you very much for tuning back. I would like to talk to you in regards to a uh, part number two of dealing with depression on the transgender life. And uh, I'm going to be dealing with hormone replacement therapy and what that actually means for your uh, mental state and your overall successful to be a transgender woman. So with hormone therapy, you have to understand that you have testosterone blockers and you have the estrogen for your feminizing type of a uh, hormone that will be able to <laughs> develop what you want to develop and uh, make you a little bit more at ease mentally. So, doctors try to try to warn you but because we're extremely eager to initiate or transition that we oftentimes neglect those warnings and we go on on to like oh yeah let's just go full throttle I don't care that's it that's where I'm heading and it works for some people but for the rest for the vast majority it doesn't and when I did when I mean that it doesn't it is because there is not a um, there's not a really guide for your transition because every single person is different then you have to understand your own biology not my biology or your friends friends biology but you have to understand your biology and that actually comes by trial and error unfortunately so whether the anti-testosterone is doing for you um, that makes you tired, that makes you um, a little more melancholic, uh, that makes you a little more uh, weak in every single way. Because with testosterone, you will be able to, uh, you, before you were able to actually say like, hey, you know what, screw this, I don't need anybody, I can do these things by myself. Well, with estrogen, that testosterone blocker in conjunction with estrogen uh, or any oestrogens, bioidentical or chemical, whatever, is that you end up with a, a dilemma of having that initial downside from the testosterone blocker and then going off a cliff <laughs> with estrogen but understanding what is going to happen it will be able to prepare yourself for something extremely catastrophic and what I want to avoid you to do is having those initial thoughts of suicide Oh, it's because nobody likes you, it's because nobody, you are still single, and if uh, you were like a real woman, then you will be doing this and you will be doing that, but look at yourself. Girl, I've dealt with almost every single type of bad thought and that comes to your mind. And it's because... I have prepared myself mentally to the task that I'm able to say is like no this is not gonna affect me I struggle don't take me wrong I struggle but I am not gonna be brought down by just that but then I rely on my friends I have a transgender friend I have different transgender friends for that matter and that have been on the therapy for longer than I have. Then I also have my regular friends before transition. And I talk to them too. And obviously, like I said previously, don't just say the negative. Also say the positive things. So the, your friends will be able to accept you and just to cheer for you. And not just you bitching about it and complaining about your life. 
because this is the life that you chose. If it was too difficult, what the hell did you choose it for? It's the way that your friends think about it, not the way that we think. But also do not misconstruct your help that you are given by your friends and your family and stuff like that by romantic love because it's not gonna work it's just not there and for that girls you have to wait unfortunately I mean too bad to sad you have to wait so please be mindful of your of your psychology please be mindful of what your regimen is going to do for you before I was not really even dealing with crying I was taught not to cry but now I cry before going to bed but it's because I understand my biology it's not that I'm dwelling on negative thoughts yeah, I know my shortcomings, and you guys know my shortcomings. It's like, okay, so, yeah, I have big hands, I have big feet, I have an Adam's apple uh, right here, and I'm not able to actually get rid of it, obviously. I mean, really? Or even my nose. Jeez, you cannot hide those features. But what you can do is control your emotions you are able to control your emotions and I'm telling you this because I've done it so whether whether you think that is capable or not know this you can control your thoughts and your emotions if you know yourself if you know your biology you will understand oh it's an episode and just deal it like that. Yeah, just cry. I don't care. Just cry it. Oh, I don't know why I'm crying, but I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm just. Oh, oh, oh. Are we having pizza? So it's one of those things that you have to understand about yourself. Understand about the life that you are trying to endeavor with and by all means if you don't have support contact a group support there's links on the uh, on other stuff that I have about transgender group uh, group supports or if you are dealing with suicide the transgender helpline will be able to do really good for you you are valuable, you deserve respect. Do not let any douchebag bring you down or any woman bring you down just because of the fact that you are becoming you. We don't give them crap about it when they're growing up. So, the same way, just ask for the same kind of respect. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, have an awesome time and have a good night. Bye.